Hi guys! So I am sitting here and it's literally been like 10 minutes since the Riverdale episode 12, I believe, just aired. And we just found out who killed Jason Blossom. So this isn't scripted. This is straight up like I'm in a hoodie hanging out talking to you guys. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw all my reactions. Um, I got asked to do this because I wasn't really going to. I, I kind of tweeted it out and asked if anyone would, wanted me to do this, and they did. So I'm here and I'm doing it. My reaction to who killed Jason Blossom, if my theory was right, or if my theory was wrong, and all of that stuff. So if you have not seen this night's Riverdale, then, or the episode 12, I, I think? Yeah, episode 12. If you have not seen this episode, stop watching this video right now and come back once you have. So this is your spoiler alert warning. Okay, so my Who Killed Jason Blossom video did pretty well, and I got a lot of people talking, a lot of people really enjoyed that theory, and like I said in that video, it was for fun. I did that kind of as like, just little things that were going on in the series that kind of got my wheels to turn in and made me think, oh my gosh, this could be plausible. But, now that we know who killed Jason, what are my thoughts? Okay, so first off, this episode was phenomenal. Like, every piece of it, the writing, the acting, just everything of it was completely amazing. It had you thinking one thing, and then the build-up throughout the whole episode is how it should be done. Like, that's how it should be done, people. Like, so how that, it, it's, it's, it was great. So, the beginning of the episode... You see FP confess to everything. He states out everything. He even says that he stole the um, board stuff that Hal did. So you're like, okay, so he must be lying. Red flag right there. But he explains everything that happened and kind of what went down and in his confession. Um, but certain people are like, oh, well, obviously he was framed. That wasn't right. And they, the, throughout the show, everything progresses to slowly kind of prove that FP is somewhat lying. Not, not really lying, but he is somewhat lying. He isn't the person who omnitionally pulled the trigger and killed Jason. And the really cool part is we find out mostly as the core group, the inner circle, find out. Um, and through this journey, you're kind of pulled on the same emotional journey that, like, the rest of them are. Like, Jughead was really upset and stuff, and it just kind of pulled at my heartstrings, because whenever Jughead cries, you want to cry. Like, Cole Sprouse just did amazing, amazing work with that. Like, big ups to him. That was just oh, amazing scenes. And Betty's character, how she kind of just really like as uh as uh Kevin called her Nancy Drewed it like she kind of like kept piecing things together and she wasn't afraid to like push to try to get it and that was awesome again the parents in the show were just, I don't know like I love the actors who play the parents but I don't know the parents in this show like I feel like the kids are here and the parents are just are just here when it comes to things like the kids know more about what's going on in this town and the parents are just really oblivious to it um, but F.P. Jones doing what he did for the reason that he did, and he says it later on, was just phenomenal. And you can tell, like, he was doing it for a reason. And if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I said, I was like, oh, he's probably doing this to do something with Jughead. Maybe the killer offered him money or something for, like, oh, ju ju Jughead safety if you take the rap for this. Um, so that as a whole in the episode was just great. And everything just coming together was just great. Everything's going on in my head right now, so I'm trying to just pro make sure I don't miss anything. Um, the really kind of creepy thing that happened that I was just kind of, I wasn't expecting it, because people had incest theories, but the incest theory was like Cheryl and Jason or Polly and her dad. But when you find out that Hal is really a blossom, which means that Cheryl and, uh, Cheryl, uh, Jason and Polly were cousins, and that those babies are technically incest babies. And the Coopers are disgusted, but the Blossoms are like, what was it, just a full Blossom then? Like, oh, guys, I, I couldn't. I My whole mind was just like, are they literally just completely cool with that? But for all you people who had your incest theories, you were kind of right on some level. Like, not exactly, but you were on like the, like, they were playing that for a reason. 
So when you find out that um, Jason's killer, the kids are watching a tape, and I really thought they would not show us the tape, and I was going to get so mad, but the kids are watching a tape, and you find out that everything happened and kind of played out the way it did because the guy who overdosed um, and they found the money to was the one who was interrogating him, and then it comes to the fact that Jason's dad, God, I, I can't for the life of me think of his name right now, I... It's com Clifford. Clifford. <laughs> Clifford Blossom is the one who stood in front of his son and shot him. Okay. I'll get back to my thought on that in a second. But when, you, when that happens, and then you realize, and they tell you that FP did it because Clifford threatened his son, so he decided to take the rap for Jughead guys especially in the beginning of the episode when Jughead's calling his mom and his mom doesn't want him his mom's like oh no you can't even crash on our couch I'm like poor Juggy. the whole episode I'm just like oh my god poor Jughead can can someone please worry about Jughead Jughead and Kevin like deserve so much like happiness like what Jug but anyways FP did it for Jughead He's still going to end up in jail, obviously, because he tampered with things and everything like that. If you guys want a full breakdown of the episode, I'm sure there's a YouTuber that did it. This is more my reaction to it. Um, but uh, Clifford Blossom killed Jason for the reasons you th I think it had something to do with, like, he didn't want to go with the company or he knew that. I'm assuming that was drugs. On the When you see Clifford, because Clifford hangs himself at the end, um... Clifford hung himself. I'm assuming that they were hiding drugs in the maple syrup containers, and that's what was going on. I'm, I'm guessing. Like, maybe I read that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was drugs. Um, he killed his son, which was completely off of my theory. My theory was whoever killed Jason killed Jason because they thought he was Archie or because they wanted to kill Archie. It had nothing to do with Grundy. Are they even going to go back to that Grundy line? I feel like that Grundy line, they just kind of threw out the window and they're never going back to that again. Anyways, um, my theory was completely off. But my opinion on who the killer is, like, the reveal of the killer, is it's a little bit on the nose. Like, I think from the beginning, like, the first episode, we're like, oh, Jason's parents did it. Like, we all thought that Jason's parents did it. Like, a lot of us, that was kind of the, like, oh, they're leading us to think his parents did it. Like, his dad's hiding something. It was so on the nose that you, I don't know, I felt like I needed more. I wanted more out of it. I wanted more of that of what I got, but with the suspense and the buildup and everything to it, the FP did it, no way FP didn't do it, then who did it, made up for the fact that it was Clifford Blossom? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but... The fact that it was Clifford Blossom and the fact that Jason wanted nothing to do with it and then the incest baby just really I don't know <sighs> I'm also kind of mad that he killed himself because I kind of wanted to see how that would play out like him dealing with having to go to jail for killing his son but I can see what they did with that he killed himself and now like the Blossoms fortunes gonna go down and next season Cheryl's probably gonna be like poor or not be able to live how she's used to living and all of that type of stuff um but I'm not 100% happy that it's Clifford I kind of wanted it to be something big I was actually not even happy it was FP I was gonna be pissed if it was FP like no you do not put Skeet on a show and make him a killer again Jughead deserves better than that, but still. I'm tr trying to process it. I'm not 100% happy with it. I felt like it could have been something else, but they are setting up for some new stuff to roll out next season, um, which we're probably going to lay down ground on the finale, which is next week. I'm super excited about that. But all around, it was a really, really good episode. I don't want to ramble on forever. This is already almost 10 minutes, but I really enjoyed the episode and even though most of it wanted to hug Jughead because I felt so bad for him in all of that episode, but that's besides the point. What do you guys think of finding out who Jason Blossom's killer? Was your theory right or not? Um, I am kind of sad my theory wasn't right, but like I said, my theory was for fun. All in all, I am just like, 
with it. Um, I'm so glad that I started making these videos. Maybe I'll do it more um, with certain TV shows, Arrow, Flash, whatever. But I'm really glad I started doing this and I'm glad that I like Riverdale kind of made me start to do this. So comment down below if your theory was right. Did you watch this week's episode? What'd you think of it? Um, yeah, I'm still like reaming. I'm like adrenaline rush because I was like pacing through my living room throughout. So you guys can tell I'm a lot more hyper than I normally am in videos just because I'm on like the Riverdale high right now. And next week's looks even more intense. So we shall see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked this type of video. So I know. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.